Um, while I've been training, I've been uh, spending time with guys like uh, Ike Taylor and Kyle Wilson. Um, I mean, just kind of getting some knowledge from guys that have had experience in the position and success as well. Um, I mean, just trying to take everything in, every little detail, uh, everything that I can to help me get better. What would you say are some of your strengths as a corner? I mean, obviously you have nice size, but what is your strength? Um, speed, uh, competitiveness, toughness, uh, just a couple things. Coming out of LSU, I mean, there's plenty of defensive backs going on to the league. What is it about LSU? What have you gotten out of the program to help you get to this point that you're at now? Um, at LSU, I mean, we just pride ourselves on a culture that we have of you know, being the best as far as defensive backs go. Um, I mean, we hold ourselves to a very high standard, um, and it, it started a long time ago, and we just try to keep it going. You've, uh, I'm sure there's plenty of interest from multiple teams. Mm -hmm. Are the Ravens a team that's on your list of formal interviews, or have you had any formal one with them? Um, I honestly don't know. I just have a bunch of room numbers, so I'll find out later. What kind, what kind of grades were you getting before this process? Were they kind of giving you a round where you could expect to go? Um, I mean, I sent my grade in for the um, advisory committee. Um, and I, the school told me that my grade was to come back to school. I should come back to school. So are you surprised to see, like, people are putting you in the first rounds now and a lot of mock drafts and that? Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty exciting to see that. Um, I mean, I, I feel like I've worked pretty hard. Um, and, you know, seeing that my grade come back, it's not, you know, come back to school and then seeing, you know, these mock drafts with me in the first round, it is kind of, it is kind of surprising. So when they're telling you to come back to school, why, why did you decide to go? Um, I mean, I just felt like this was the best opportunity for me to maximize um, on the draft. Um, I mean, I didn't want to risk getting hurt or anything like that, coming back for another year. What was your specific reaction the first time you saw somebody put you in the first round like that? Um, I mean, I was really excited. Uh, I mean, I never really had a lot of, I guess, hype or, you know, uh, exposure like that on a big scale. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty exciting. With you being, you know, mock in the first round, um, what was the, what do you think the advisory board was thinking? I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> Who knows? It's funny.